hello everyone and today i'm gonna be teaching you how to create your own custom message box in c or in c plus plus so if you don't know what a message box is as you can see uh this is saved right now but uh, this is not saved because i just updated it and if i press this x button you can see that this thing pops up and this is called a message box or and dialog box and if i try to focus on the main window over here it will play some sound or flash over here and if i just do cancel it will not close the application so that is message box in short but how do you make your own in c or c plus plus depends upon what you are using okay so over here i have windows.h and i have our main method int main and we won't be using iostream or conio.h for this video so let's begin now first thing we need to do is type message box like this and this is a function which will construct our message box so over here it's asking us for hwind which means the owner window like this was the owner window of this box so if you type null over here it will work but if you can see over here if i click back over here it plays a sound or just flashes so that flashing or playing sound won't be happening and user will be able to refocus on the original window so if you want that you can use null but uh, if you don't want that to happen you can use allow console and over here then you can use find window a and considering that it is a console window which you are using we are going to type console window class and if you are using this for your c++ application which is using win main function or c application which is using win main function then you have to give it your applications handle over here so after that in lp window name you have to give null and exit the find window a function so after that you have lp text parameter so this will be the message you want to display you can do hi maybe hi do you want to exit okay this is completely random you don't need to type this necessarily you can put here anything you want to be displayed so then in lp caption parameter this will be the name of the message box so if you give in null like this then it will be error by default and if you give in a string like this it will be the string that you give in so you can type whatever caption you want i will type by and i don't know why it came to my head but yeah if the user wants to exit just say by that was the reason probably so after that you can see unit u type so for this parameter remember i'm giving a semicolon at that there are some predefined values which you can find on this web page docs.microsoft.com and um, here are some values that you can use so if you use this mb abort retry ignore you will get three buttons called abort retry ignore as the name says you will get the buttons according to it over here and uh, you can refer to this web page and i will leave the link in the description so mb help will give us a help button and mb okay okay cancel will give respective buttons then you can use any one of this so we'll say help why you need help while quitting i don't know but we will use at this point we can run this application and it will pop up a message box so let's press compile and run and here you can see bye hi do you want to exit okay help and um, this is the basic thing but as you can see over here as i gave the parameter of find window a it is not letting me focus the console window it's playing a sound and also flashing if you can see flash and i can do whatever i want to do with this window but i can't do anything to this window not even exit yeah sure i can use task manager to exit but yeah if you press cross then it goes now after that we have the icons to display as you can see if i just 
update anything like d and press cross over here you can see there is an icon over there yeah that icon we are talking about so pretty quickly let me save this and over here as the name explains again icon exclamation and this will result in exclamation mark in your message box and warning will be the same but with the triangle exclamation mark and um, information will be the i in a circle yeah over here you can read and asterisk will be lowercase i in a circle and uh, there are this much more you can use like icon question icon stop icon error icon hand so now let's use icon hand and over here as you can see there are no parameters left to use so what we have to do is give one this character which we use for bitwise or so use that and copy this thing from a website and paste it over here and now if we compile it and run it you can see that we got buy and um, our hand icon appear you can add more stuff using this bitwise or operator so over here you can see mb def button one so this will make the first button default and uh, this is def button two second button default so the default button means like if i close this without saving i'm pressing yes and close this you can see that blue highlight over there so that's the default button and if i cancel it and you bitwise r and use second button default and paste it over there and now if we compile that run uh, you can see that help button is glowing not this so if you use arrow keys then you can see it glows like that so should i press help 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 okay it's doing nothing let's press cross yeah now over here this is the model of the message box means this will change the theme slightly here and there task model system model there are three models which you can use from this will like give a tint of a different thing so let's use this and boop i forgot a bit was our operator yeah compile and run and um, this was i think by default so you can use whatever you want from here you can use system model and uh, just make sure you don't add two of the same types parameter and you can see the icon came over there in the corner like over here the exe icon came over there like this one so after that we have this options and um, you can see mb default desktop only mb write mb r2l reading and um, you can use one or more of the following icons values so as you can see here you have to use specific value so if you use r2l reading and go over here here and press bit five or and paste it and i know this is getting a long string so bear with me you can see that it forced the r2l alignment so this is kind of weird yeah don't use it i mean if you want you can use it but i'm not using this so you can use more of this values now the return value so the return value changes according to what user press so if it presses abort button then the return value will will be three and cancel button will be two so you can directly just use those ids like id cancel which was not on our message box so i can't use hmm let's see hmm what was on our message box let me run it again yeah now i will look at uh, yeah okay and help button yeah so okay yeah i found okay button so i'm just gonna copy this and but a boom and don't paste it over here because it's not the parameter just go here and type if this thing returns equal equals you can use returns the id okay then you can execute certain things like see out high end line and now i'm not using a stream so i have to include it i'm just gonna copy this and paste this over there i o s t r m and using namespace std so if i press ok the high will be printed but if i press help 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 it is stuck i change this so ok cancel when we press cancel it will print nothing and if we press 
across it will still print nothing cause cancel was highlighted and um, if we run it and press ok then have will print so that's how you take input from it and now at very end you can see that the corresponding icons for the MB hand icon was the same thing which appears so it was ok right and um, yeah this message box video is done so if you enjoyed watching then make sure you click that like share and subscribe button not at once one by one and um, if you still want to continue watching then make sure you click the video that's showing up on the screen right now